self-esteem is one of those ethereal qualities that are difficult to quantify. But you know it when you see it. A lack of confidence is not usually the result of crippling social anxiety or other mental health issues that influence one's self-perception. You may be unaware that you have some subconscious tendencies that are eroding your confidence. Let's take a look at some of these tendencies and actions so you can learn to spot them and start developing good habits instead. But make sure you subscribe to 4th and hit the notification bell to be among the first to be notified of amazing videos like this. So what are those bad habits you have been neglecting? Number 1. Neglecting your appearance You're already aware of the significance of excellent hygiene and the value of taking care of your health and beauty. One of the most crucial things to remember that is ignoring your looks is essentially expressing disrespect for yourself. Furthermore, if you don't feel good about how you appear, your self-esteem will suffer, particularly in social circumstances. It may appear to be a minor matter, but properly caring for your appearance can go a long way towards increasing your self-confidence. Number 2. Obsessing over minor flaws Do you notice little flaws in your appearance when you glance in the mirror? Do you become fixated on this defect and amplify it in your thoughts until it appears to be all you can see? If so, you must halt. This habit is detrimental to one's self-esteem. Even if you think you're just being honest with yourself, focusing on your flaws can drive you to dislike what you see. When this happens, your focus turns from enjoying all of the qualities you admire in yourself to continually dissecting everything you believe is wrong. This self-criticism process leaves you feeling depressed, inadequate, and shamed, which is not conductive to a confident mindset. Number 3. Talking about your perceived weaknesses there is a narrow line between being self-deprecating and overdoing it. While self-deprecation is designed to demonstrate that you're a normal person who doesn't take yourself too seriously, it might come across as insecure in some circumstances. Furthermore, if you regularly make negative comments about yourself, people will notice and either grow weary of hearing it or begin to suspect that you may not be as terrific as you appear. If you must mention a weakness in a professional setting such as a job interview, frame it as an area for improvement. It will demonstrate that while there is are places for improvement, there is a readiness and ambition to master new talents and thrive in areas other than those that come easily. Number 4. Overcomplimenting others Overcomplimenting people is effectively telling them how much better they are than you. Of course, it is good to lift others, but if you do it too often and portray yourself as a small fish in comparison, you will begin to accept this narrative. Take the time to recognize your qualities and talents instead of repeating the cycle of overcomplimenting others and denigrating yourself. Keep in mind that everyone has unique talents and weaknesses. Indeed, if we are all same, none of us will stand out in a crowd. Each of us has something special that distinguishes us. Therefore, don't overlook your great qualities. Number 5. Believing your negative self-talk if you're like most individuals, you probably have negative ideas about yourself on occasion. Unfortunately, we're considerably more likely to believe the negative things we tell ourselves than the positives. And in the long run, this way of thinking diminishes your self-esteem and confidence, making it more difficult to believe in yourself and achieve your goals. While positive affirmations can help break some of these thought patterns, learning how to not take your negative self-talk so seriously in the first place is much more beneficial. It will give you a more objective view of life, leading you to better enjoyment and, as a result, more confidence. Number 6. Excessive Apologizing Do you ever find yourself saying I'm sorry even when another person crashes with you? While apologies can be powerful and meaningful, but overly courteous and constantly saying sorry might harm your confidence. Excessive apologies can make you appear doubtful of yourself as if you have no confidence in your abilities or decisions. You should never apologize for things you know aren't your fault or for anything you don't regret. By doing so, you assign responsibility to yourself and encourage others to believe that you are at fault. Apologies should only be made when necessary, otherwise they lose their effectiveness and meaning. Number 7. Letting others make decisions for you You can be confident if you don't know what you want or don't believe your opinions are important. Confidence is developed by the honest and empowered expression of one's desires. This is only possible if you listen to yourself, trust yourself, and follow through on your goals in life. When someone tells you what they believe should happen, or presses you into doing something they desire rather than considering your needs, or worse, tries to control or manipulate you, your confidence suffers. Number 8. Lowering your standards Accepting less than what you deserve involves lowering your standards to be okay with whatever happens. Sure, reducing your standards will make your life more comfortable or convenient. And while it may seem like a simple answer at the time, it will not boost your confidence in the long run. 
Lowering your standards on the other hand decreases your self-worth and generates more issues than it solves. It's also a slippery slope. If you start doing it for one thing, you'll find it simpler to do it for others. It's acceptable if we don't all share the same values. However, having a set of standards and sticking to them will make you happier and more confident. Number 9. Maintaining toxic relationships When it comes to confidence, the connections in your life are really important. Because everyone around you influences on how you think and feel about yourself, people close to you such as family, friends, co-workers, and even strangers all affect your self-esteem. Your confidence will suffer if individuals around you are continuously criticizing or dismissing you. So take a step back and think about whether your relationships are beneficial for both of you, especially if your confidence has suffered as a result of being with these people. To be confident and aggressive, you must surround yourself with positive individuals who care about your well-being as much as they do about their own. Number 10. Comparing yourself to others Everyone has been there. You're scrolling through your social media page when you discover that other individuals are attaining milestones faster than you. Perhaps they have a fancier house, a better career, or are happily married, while you are having difficulties. You're envious, insecure, and possibly even angry because these folks have something you don't. But hold on, it is as horrible as it appears? Being compared to others is a natural human activity. We are hardwired to notice differences and form opinions. However, if left uncontrolled, this tendency can be detrimental to your self-esteem. It can make you feel envious or resentful of others' accomplishments. Instead, concentrate on what positively distinguishes you, and keep in mind that everyone's route is unique even if they appear similar at first glance. Number 11. Not admitting when you're wrong Confidence is essential, but overconfidence is deadly. Knowing when to admit you are incorrect is a vital step in maintaining your self-esteem because confidence does not imply always being correct. Being self-aware is also required. You will realize that even if you make mistakes, the world does not end. Own it. Recognize your error. You must forgive yourself and then move on. Number 12. Spending time in social media Social media can harm one's self-esteem and self-image. If harsh comments or a lack of likes and contact are bringing you down, it's time to take a break from social media. Remind yourself that in the larger scheme of things, social media is a fairly superficial place. Remember that the only form of validation that matters is the kind you find within yourself. These negative habits are all indicators of low self-esteem. While some of other may appear to be harmless, if ignored for an extended period, they can cause significant damage. The key is to spot these problems as they occur. With practice, you'll be able to replace a negative thought or behavior with a positive one whenever one of these harmful habits arises. We have arrived at the end of this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to 4th and smash the notification bell. See you in the next video coming up.